distinguishing characteristic of the contemporary city is precisely its capacity for changing day by day, for undergoing rapid transformations. For example, the rapidity of the metabolic changes in Tokyo in particular is without a parallel. If we are to formulate an idea of the city of the future, we must, I think, find it within this mobility, this ceaseless transformation. Recently, much has been said about city planning, but in the word city planning itself, one senses, with uneasiness, a certain tendency to imagine the city as something neat and orderly, like a checkerboard. Such an idea fix is often discovered even among the so-called city planners. But the truth is that even if a city like Brasilia, the much publicized new capital of Brazil, were to be built in Japan, population pressures and various changes would immediately make it necessary to change the form of the city to such a radical degree that it would be quite different from what was intended in the beginning. Our conception of the city of the future must be one which embraces disorder, which finds a new order within this disorder, and which in fact is capable of building a new order out of confusion. When we therefore present a total image, we are not to specify in detail how the city of the future must be. Even if we actually do propose some such total image, we do not mean to advocate that our ideas must be realized exactly as they are, without any revisions. Nor should we ever do so. Our proposals are nothing more than mere segments of an image, or else mere suggestions about the directions and the methods to be taken. There can be no final point at which the city will one day arrive in its development. If there is, the city will find itself reduced immediately to ruins. Noburu Kawazoe, Zodiac, issue number 9, January 1962